The county's top lawman is out after Sheriff Terry Pickering submits his resignation. He already decided not to run for re-election, but today's move means he is out before his term is up. This comes after some high-profile issues and cases while Pickering was in office. One of those cases involves a former deputy who's in the middle of a retrial for murder. Former Deputy Daniel Willis is on trial for the death of Yvette Smith, who was shot and killed during a disturbance call in February 2014. She was not armed. Willis's first murder trial ended with a hung jury. Bastrop County settled a civil lawsuit claiming the sheriff's office was negligent in hiring Willis. Another deputy happened to choose today to resign after his DWI arrest. Authorities say Fred Ensinger was placed on paid administrative leave last January. Officials say a sergeant caught Ensinger with an open bottle of vodka in his patrol car. And in the fall of 2014, we told you how investigator Robert Torres was demoted and suspended. This coming after an audit found that he ignored more than 40 cases over a two-year period. The audit discovered most involved unfiled paperwork. At the time, the sheriff told us none of the cases involved imminent danger to a child. At least five cases needed a follow-up by other investigators. But there have been a number of positive moments for Sheriff Pickering, nearly seven years in his post now. KXA's David Scott sat down with county leaders today for an in-depth look at what's next. Surprised? Well, I'll have to say this wasn't on my list of things to do today. Okay. When I first woke up, Judge Paul Poppy says the commissioner's court will likely accept the Pickering resignation Monday, effective the end of May, and have someone else in place by then. Since there's an election in November, this choice will be interim. Tricky. What I don't want it to do is, is have a negative effect on the morale of our uh, law enforcement personnel and jailers. Um, I think this, this could be a positive. Sheriff Pickering recently told KXCN he's proud of the modernization of the department over his seven years, but acknowledged problems like the Deputy Willis murder trial. It certainly puts a black eye on us, uh, but I, no more so than you know similar events in, in other law enforcement agencies. I think the key thing there is just being real, real open to the public and, and being transparent about it. No doubt that case and Pickering's sudden departure creates stress. Could the interim choice come from within? We'll consider uh, anyone who's interested, in, uh, and I've had some calls today from, from, from some people within the Sheriff's Department, but we'll take a look at all the applicants and see what would be the best choice. So who do they expect to get to take on a six-month gig? It'd be nice to have someone who has some experience in the Sheriff's Department who maybe has carried the gun before and who knows what it feels like to be out on the beat. I want someone who's a good person. You know, if you've got a good person to work with, an honest, hardworking, trustworthy person, you can, you can make anything work. David Scott, KXAN News. May 31st will be Sheriff Pickering's last day in office. He will immediately start working as a consultant with the Texas Association of Counties that is based in downtown Austin. The county judge says with quick election certification, the permanent sheriff could be on the job by mid-November. The Republican primary for Bastrop County Sheriff ended in a runoff. Maurice Cook and Matthew Henderson will advance to the May runoff. The winner of that race will face Democrat Mike Rank in November.